Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another K9 Finance Weekly Dow Update Spaces. We are here for number 16. You are here very early, having either followed the reminder link to get here, which we appreciate that, or listening to the recording, which is also fantastic. But having been here this early means you're here for some of the setup. So I've got to approve some people to come up here and be part of our spaces today. We've got guests on the agenda, as you can see from the title today. It's going to be a little bit busy. It says weekly Dow update 16, but it also says SHIB speaks first ever VC with SHIB token. Boy, oh boy. Uh, I'm excited to be here today with you. I'm in the K9 Finance account. My name is Pulse Digital or Crypto Pulse 9 here on X. I am just a DAO member like you guys. I'm the voice of the DAO. So I get to host these things. I get to do the X spaces. So that's why I'm up here with you today. But I'm going to have up here with me a whole nother host of people who are all part of the K9 Finance community in their own capacity, helping build out the brand and build out the tech and stuff like that. But we're also going to have a very special guest here. This is not just a normal weekly update. We're actually going to have the SHIB token account here today, and they are scheduled to speak with us. Now, this is a first time event, and I'm not trying to put them on the spot or anything because I'm going to I'm gonna make you guys simmer for just a little bit. They're not going to talk right away. I've got some stuff up front before we're going to throw the spotlight over them, but I'm so excited for them to have chosen to speak with us today, speak here with us about them, about what, what, what they've been doing, how they got where they are, and then they're going to be, you know, explaining how they ended up in this spaces today so we're going to have guests from from all over the place look through the listeners look who shows up this is a very anticipated event so we got a couple more minutes and then i'm going to do a great big room reset we're going to pretend like the whole filling in part doesn't happen and stuff like that so let me check microphones real quick i'm going to ask everybody but the ship account to make sure their microphone works because I'm, I'm not just not going to let them speak yet you guys are going to have to cook but i'm going to run through the list buzz i see you're over there and you've pinned some stuff already you must be working how are you Hey, doing good. How's my my audio? I'm just gonna loud, uh, loud and clear. Sounds good, yeah. man. I'm so excited. Are you excited like I am? Yeah, very much so. I'm gonna send a couple of reminders to some some folks within the the greater Shib and Shibarium community who wanted to speak and and uh, let you do all your other mic checks. It's gonna be a great day. Sounds good, man. I appreciate you coming in. Archangel's got a speaker spot. How are you? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Do loud and clear. Your mic sounds good and clear over here, too. Thank you for coming up and hanging out with us today and, and joining to see what Shib's going to be talking about. I see a few other people. Turtle microphone check. I see you're here today. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Yo, man. Thanks for jumping in. Good to hear you. I've got some forum questions and stuff, and I'm sure you've got updates for everybody as well, right? Sounds good. Cool. I see Maximus made it into a speaker spot. Max, how are you? Hey there. Um, can you hear me well? Yes, sounds good on okay. my end. Thanks, thank you for jumping in today. Thank you for the invite. Thank you for the, the invite. You bet. Uh, Meyer, I see you got a speaker spot. Microphone check. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me here today. I'm looking forward to this one. Yeah, man. I think we all are. And then 2% slid in there under the radar. 2% of the speaker spots are now occupied by uh, LaRose. How are you? I'm doing phenomenal. I lost sleep last night so because I was so excited for this space. Oh, that's well, then you're entitled to a nap when we get done. I think it's important. I'm, you know, I'm always advocating the hydration. Sometimes uh, taking an intentional nap is actually a health benefit. So you get the pass from me today. If anybody asks why you're asleep on the couch when we get done. Uh, I got a few more spots, a few more requests, a few more minutes uh, before we're going to kick off the reset. And I got Masriel will approve. Remember, we got limited spots, so nobody get upset if you uh, are raising your hand and I can't get everybody in today. As you can imagine, highly anticipated spaces as far as uh, just occupying spots up here is going to be a hot one today. I'm sure people are all grabbing their screenshots, click, click, running away with those. The look at me, Ma, if you can moments. Um, Remember, if you're up here as a speaker, you have the opportunity to pin posts. If you've got something that's relevant to uh, K9, the K9 updates or anything that's going on with uh, SHIB that we might want to talk about, now would be your chance to throw that up there. Don't get greedy. Uh, you can have a few spots, but you know uh, what it takes. Now, what can you do for me as a listener before I do the room reset? Comments in the bottom right corner. That's the first thing you can do. If you're not going to get into a speaker spot, check out the bottom right corner. I need the number to go up. You guys know how crypto works. Number go up. I need all the comments you can give me. SHIB stuff, K9 stuff, stuff about what you're doing uh, stuff about what you're having for dinner. I don't care. It's all good for the algorithm. Uh, have a conversation with yourselves. 
uh, just, just get some comments down there. I want to see double digits and let's get triple digits by the halfway point. So when we do the reset, we'll check that out. You can also uh, share the spaces, share it on your timeline, tell everybody you were here. You can also send a DM. If you know somebody that's very interested in the subject, you should send them a DM. It's usually better at getting people to join the space with a DM directly. So that's a great way to do that. Last is emojis, which I've seen a few. I can see more. They're still free. You guys can use emojis. They're good for the algorithm. Let us know that you can hear the spaces. Let us know you like the conversation and stuff like that. So uh, if everybody's ready, microphones all sound good to me uh, i see most of our speakers are here in place i know that there are still invites out pending but i'm ready to do the reset if you guys are ready to rock and roll you ready emojis and thumbs up let's go here we go three two one ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another canine finance weekly dow update spaces number 16 this week but not a normal weekly dow update we are here today with the ship token account we're going to have the first ever vc today featuring the ship token account not just as a speaker not just as a listener but we're actually going to talk today super excited so look through the listeners it's a it's a veritable who's who of the shiba inu community and the greater canine community at large and now myself as canine finance this is the reminder up front i'm not really canine finance i'm just pulse digital i'm just the guy that gets to host the spaces so anything i say while i'm up here it's just me being me just fortunate enough to be the guy that hosts the spaces so i'm just representing myself but i do get to speak for a lot of the community too but we have people from our community that are here to give you updates development updates forum updates things that are going on for marketing and stuff like that and i'm going to make you sit through at least the juiciest part of that before we talk to shib because that's how anticipate Patient works. You got to build it. So first, we're going to talk to Buzz about the things he's been developing. Then we're going to talk to Turtle about the things that are going on in the forum. Then we're going to talk to a few other people about the buy contest. The buy contest. I said it twice, so it wasn't just lost in the blockchain. And we're going to go over the details related to that. And then once we've gone through some of the meat, we're going to get to the SHIB token interview. You guys, I know that's why most of you are here. So stick around, go through some of these big updates with the community. This is what we do every week is the weekly DAO updates. But this week, it's special. So up front, I can't wait to give the microphone to Buzz, our developer, our co-founder, and the guy that everybody comes to see. Buzz, the microphone's yours, man. Welcome to Spaces with SHIB token today. Hey, thanks, everyone, for being here. I mean, I'm also giddy and, and excited um, had the opportunity to to speak with the person behind the SHIB account to kind of hear some of those stories. And, and, and for me, as somebody who who joined this community just uh, last August and learning about Shibarium at East Toronto, um, some of these stories are, are they're almost like a uh, mythical in, in nature. It's really cool to hear about people who have been around the SHIB community uh, so long and only hope that uh, canine can help carry that torch and sort of a vision that that was put out uh, very early and and very much so I'm eager to hear what uh, is to be said here today. I'm very excited too. And I'm very excited for you to get a chance to ask a couple of questions and have some public conversation too, just because I know you'll have some some great stuff. You go back, I go back to 21 when I started in crypto. So my relationship with SHIB goes all the way back to 21 and I've watched a lot of stuff uh, between now and then. So I've, I think we're all excited for our own reasons and everybody's got their own journey. And I wanna be clear that I intend to put none of the weight of any of but anybody's experiences with Shiba Inu token on the person that's behind this account. I cannot be more clear up front than letting you guys know that this is just a person behind this account and there, there is no gravity behind anything that anyone's individual experience might have been here. And we're just here to have a good time. So if you violate my rule number one about having a good time today, I'm not going to stand for it. We're here to kick it off and have a good time today and meet this person and let them be welcomed into our community because they busted their hump to maintain this account and build up over 3 million followers. And we're going to throw some flowers today. So I'm glad to have everybody else here on the same page as Buzz and me. And Turtle, are you just as excited to be here to do forum updates? I know you are. Hey, if it's about the form, you know I'm pumped, uh, and really just about the DAO proposals. But yeah, it's uh, it's great to have the SHIB account here. I share all Buzz's sentiment and appreciate uh, you and everyone else who's who's come today. As far as uh, the forum, would you like me to share a bit about where we're at this week and what's coming? Well, where we left off last week, for those of you that are tuning in from last week's episode, remember, it's like a soap opera. You got to <laughs> stay up to date. Uh, where we left off last week was there was some talk about the burn debate and there was talk about some liquidity proposals and stuff. So uh, pick up where we left off. Assume that someone might have known a little bit about what we're doing here. Right. So don't go too deep. But yeah, pick it up. Yeah, perfect. So for anyone who is, is listening for the first time, I'm Turtle. I'm handling operations, and I'm also acting as the DAO chair for the K9 Finance DAO. All that means is I help move things through and keep the systems on track. So 
for this week, we actually have our roundtable of dogs call coming tomorrow, and that'll be our second roundtable call. And just kind of zooming out, the process is a proposal comes into the forum, lives there for a few days or a few weeks, and then each month our roundtable gets together, which is comprised of advisors and stakeholders in the project, and they review the proposals. And if they pass the roundtable, they move to snapshot for voting. And so with that said, we left off last week talking about the eight bond proposal, which is essentially like a liquidity bond. We also spoke about the potential burn day and, and some of the hesitations and positive remarks that have come in the forum there. And treasury management came up last week. In addition to those, we have at least, I think, yeah, we have eight total proposals that will be reviewed in the roundtable tomorrow, which also, also include a few technical plays and marketing plays that I could get into deeper, but I'd rather people dive into the forum and kind of see them before they go live tomorrow. But as uh, as you mentioned, Ape Bond received a lot of attention last week. We were able to have them with us. If anyone has kind of final questions before the roundtable reviews that proposal or the Treasury Management proposal or some of the other key ones, uh, today is pretty much your final day to get those into the forum before the, the roundtable reviews everything. Excellent. And normally we might, if we had a little less uh, going on today, go deeper into this stuff on our calls. So depending on your level of interest in these these Dow things, really the best place is going to be is the forum. It's forum.k9finance.com, right, Turtle? Jump in there. Yeah, that's right. And and to your point, Shane, I'm trying to be mindful of the space today. Next week, once we have the results of the roundtable, I'll be able to provide a, a lot more detail uh, and we'll spend a bit of time kind of diving into everything and what the impacts are. Sure. And for those of you that are already aware of these things and that have commented and stuff, we appreciate uh, everybody being a part of the conversation. Remember last time, one of the things that Turtle mentioned, and I saw this happen between last week and now, is that even if you just go in and just comment, I do not support this or I do support this, that actually makes a difference. So one of the things he had said was, you don't have to go in there and write this eloquent you know, blog post about why you do or don't support it to show your math or anything. Uh, and I noticed there were a lot of users that signed up for the first time that did just go in and throw a couple of comments on stuff. That's perfectly fine. That's exactly Exactly what Turtle asked for. So kudos to everybody uh, that followed that call to action. Thanks to, to, to Turtle for bringing that up. And Buzz threw his hand up. Yeah, I just wanted to add, too, that a great thing that came out of last week is that uh, the community wanted to have some more deeper discussions on some of the proposals and talk about it verbally amongst us. And we did open up a couple voice chats in our Telegram, uh, trying to do them about three times a week um, for people to participate. I know that I was part of one last Friday that went about a couple hours talking about all the different proposals. And um, if that was recorded, maybe we can uh, throw that in the Telegram and maybe we post a after party VC after this in our, in our Telegram where we can go more in depth in those conversations with the community too, so that we're not uh, taking the show away, so to speak. Well, no, and doing the VCs and the Telegram, there's so many layers to what it takes, and and you guys have talked about this in other shows. What does a functional DAO look like? You guys have had experience, at least Buzz and some other people, in, in working in a functional DAO, and it can't just be Snapshot or just be Telegram. It's these layers because it provides the different depth of communication. So the ability to do those VCs and Telegram, some people are just going to be auditory people. Um, I, think of, I think of Radar in our uh, community. You guys know Radar uh, is sight impaired, so the audio stuff makes such a huge impact impact for him and being able to push audio uh, to him is more valuable. So if at least one person is going to step up and say, hey, it's easier for me to hear things, there could be dozens of people. I call that the the, the pitchfork and torch uh, rule. Like if you're willing to speak up, there's probably a bunch of people who are quieter than you about something. So people love it. And people also, I noticed, Buzz, after you check out of there, love just hearing your voice. Like whether you like it or not, you're the, the celebrity in that sense. So it is good. It's good for camaraderie. It's good for getting the message across differently and, and sometimes reinforcing things. Complex messages have to be reinforced. So hearing it over and over uh, is good. So uh, stick with Turtle for more updates and stuff like that. Like uh, like we said, catch them on Telegram, catch them on the forum. Normally we'd get deeper, but we got a stack lineup today. And I want to give Buzz an opportunity before we talk to Shib right up front while everybody's listening on the edge of their seat to talk about this giveaway. Buzz, are we giving away money? Is this real? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, the uh, community was really passionate about doing a, a, a contest like this. And um just basically what our community wanted to see. We, we put this contest together. So um, at a very high level, it's the first pin tweet there. So there's a sort of like two tracks of rewards so that there's one where you can qualify for uh, any $100 buy of canine gets you put into a raffle and there's other ways to earn points too. So we have a lot of uh, partners amongst this contest where if you're following them on Twitter, you're 
earning points. If you're retweeting the buy contest, you're earning points and you earn, earn points through this task on system. And the link is in that, that first pin tweet there. Um, and all you got to do is you got to purchase a hundred dollars with a canine and you get put into this raffle. Um, and then the second track, which is our grand prize is if you purchase a thousand dollars worth of canine, you get put into a raffle to win. Um, I think it's about $10,000 worth of canine that'll be delivered to your wallet as soon as the product goes live in Q3, where you can hopefully use it within the product and get a, a really good, great sneak sneak peek at what uh, we're bringing to Shibarium. So that would be a Shibarium focused utility and really encouraging through this contest that people bridge to Shibarium and start using the canine product to um, do what we think it's going to do and bring that utility to Shibarium and hopefully grow the total value lock, the transactional volume there. And uh, so there's a a big narrative within this contest of really trying to encourage people to get on Shibarium too, and especially with working with those Shibarium partners. And I would also shout out to TaskOn for their participation and their uh, help on this. We also are on their front page, if I'm not mistaken. So TaskOn and the the list of things that you can follow through them are up there. And then individually, Buzz, can you uh, can you give me the names of all of the the people that contributed, the partners that contributed tokens? Let's give them a little bit of a shout out here since we're recording the spaces. Who are the partners that are are part of this? Yeah, of course. So um, through this contest, we we've been able to. So we're giving away some shib giving away some bone. So the, obviously those are our partners. Um, we've partnered with CoinMerge, Bad Idea, uh, Chewy, Mars Swap, and there's also some USDT there that, that you can earn as well. So, uh, oh, it's Sharby. I forgot Sharby as well. I don't want to forget our friends at, at Sharby, but uh, all of these partners who have participated in this contest have been very supportive and, and really want to do more of these activations and working with all Shibarium projects to, to help Shibarium grow because ultimately... That is the DAO mission of Canine. It's to bring DeFi to Shibarium, which by doing that, we believe it's going to benefit the SHIB token. And, uh, and that's kind of what we've been talking about this week as a, a relative theme of alpha. And uh, a lot of our tokens within the Canine token economics are for this retroactive airdrop. And uh, we've talked about wallet provenance and, and how someone could become eligible to receive that airdrop after the product launches. Um, and many of those activities are going to be, have you bridged to Shibarium? Have you used ShibaSwap? Have you used ChewySwap? Um, have you used the Canine product? Have you voted within our DAO? Um, so all of those actions that uh, are proving a wallet to be a really great community member, um, not just with buying or holding, but with just per active participation in the broader Shibarium ecosystem that we're supporting, um, all of those actions are going to be rewarded with those token economics. Um, and I just got a message that I may have forgotten Woof Swap in that that shout out too. So I want to shout out Woof Swap as well. That's an excellent list. Now I'm being cognizant of time because I know everybody wants to hear the shib. I got one more person I know is chomping at the bit to have a conversation about what they've been working on because shib is here and they're listening and buzz is here. And that's going to be Meyer because we haven't really gone into ETH Toronto. We've been focused on other stuff, but oh boy, is that getting close. And I know this guy is excited to have shib and canine in the same place in the same space. Uh, so what have you been cooking, my guy? We haven't heard from you in a little bit. What's up uh, with ETH Toronto this year? Hey guys, yeah, ETH Toronto is rocking and rolling, the bull run, the meme season is all in full effect. Uh, obviously, K9 and uh, SHIB are going to be huge partners. We have signed both of them on right now as sponsors, and, and actually a few other SHIB uh, projects are coming on as sponsors as well. We'll have a booth. Um, the numbers are blowing out of the waters of last year. We're definitely going to be surpassing last year's numbers. Uh, all the hype is coming to Toronto again. It's it's a really great place to be. It is the first event SHIB ever did. So it's great to see that they're coming back uh, and going to do it bigger than ever. Um, so if you haven't already registered or looking to register, just here's a, here's a little alpha for you guys. Let's just say SHIB is giving away a ton of tokens very soon. So look for that announcement and make sure you grab one of those uh, tickets uh, and see you guys in Toronto. I mean... Outside of that, I'm just super excited about this call and uh, and the market is is holding up real well. So uh, we're really excited for August again.
I cannot stress the importance of getting together for these conferences. Even if you've uh, only ever made it to one of these, you would understand the importance that these things can have meeting people. Uh, what my thing is, because uh, I've experienced this in other parts of my life, so if you've ever gone to cons or conventions or places where people in your niche interest have gathered for an event, you might feel sometimes like wherever you are right now, you're the only person that's into that weird thing that you like. Uh, I don't know, like... <laughs> dog coins <laughs> but sometimes you go to a place like east toronto and then maybe you meet a lot of other people and suddenly you realize you're not that only person and that the things you hear about online are actually real and uh, you get a chance to to see the physicality behind it and sit in the booths and uh you get honestly you get a taste that the money is actually changing hands and you see the the after parties and it's like damn you know i gotta i gotta figure out more about this so almost everybody that i know that has ever taken the the time effort and money to go to a conference uh came out of it with a very different perspective. I, I don't want to call it crypto washed, uh, but they're definitely taking the pill, I think, after going. So uh, I would say that between now and then, if you guys aren't getting hyped about taking the trip up there, if you don't have your passport, you better get it. Uh, and if you're able to get up to Toronto, you need to get up there because the K9 crew is rolling in mob deep. They're going to be there with SHIB. There's going to be merch. There's going to be people wearing the jackets and, and all these cool things. And you're going to see people like uh, Mr. Lightspeed is going to be there. Uh, that's, that's one person I know is going to be there. And I'm super hyped for those of you that have never had a chance to meet Mr. Lightspeed because he's a real damn person <laughs> and you're going to get a chance to meet it for yourself the myths are all true uh, and some of the other crew will be there you're going to get a chance to see things i bet sheba cows is going to have stuff there uh so meyer meyer's the guy in this situation you guys if you need uh anything from a project perspective you got to connect with him here uh send him a dm connect with him on on telegram if you need anything from a retail perspective meaning you're just interested in going then stay the hell out of his dms he ain't got time for that <laughs> you need you need to find a different way to get in come to the come to the canine telegram and ask what are we doing who Who's, who's driving the bus uh, up there across Niagara Falls? Uh, I don't know if there's a canine bus, but I just made that up. Uh, we got to figure it out. So that's what I'm excited about. And I don't want to wait any longer because now we talked about everything that I want to get up front. And you guys can scoot to the edge of your seat now. And I want SHIB to be good and ready because we're going to get into this interview with SHIB token. And literally the first thing they say, even though it's going to be hello or hi or whatever it's going to be, is just so important to me. So the first thing I'd like to say to the SHIB token account before they even have to speak is we appreciate you choosing to be here. Like I said up front, you could have done this in so many places. I know how many uh, requests for interviews and media reach and all the other influencers and stuff and all the, the times you've swatted away that stuff. So it is. we are all very cognizant of the choice to be here, to be here with us, to be here now. So what I want to say to you is thank you and hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, nice to be here. <laughs> it's nice to hear your voice, man. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> no, Plus none at all. I'm excited. Good. Well, I hope, like I said, I hope we've made it feel a little bit more at home. So if you want, you can kick your shoes off because uh, it's going to be that type of interview. I don't want you to feel like you're under any pressure. Yeah, perfect, man. That's good. Let's go. So I talked to a lot of people this week, as you can imagine, uh, that knew that this was going to happen and that we'd have this sit down. And I know Buzz got these DMs and I bet everybody that would, that knew they were going to have a seat at this this table today got messages like this. What are you going to ask the SHIB account? What are you going to talk about? And the, the answer is so many of the things that I think a lot of people have wondered because the biggest questions are often the simplest questions. So I've got a list of things that I kind of compiled that I, that I thought were more common than not. And what I want to start with is just these questions, because I think from a community perspective, these are these are great. So on a broad level, if you can tell me, you don't have to go too deep into the personal stuff, but how did you all the way back get involved in Shiba Inu? <laughs> I suppose that, that there's probably a long story and a short story, so I suppose I'll keep it brief. So really, I, I discovered Shib pretty much just through Uniswap when uh, Uniswap came out. Um, everybody was jumping in and out tokens, trying to flip them. Much like what we see today with Base and Solana, uh, meme coins, etc. So, really, that that that's how I initially discovered Ship, um, and I obviously hopped in the Telegram, um, and just so sort of went from there. Obviously, my initial bag sort of went up, and then it looked just like everything else to start with, and then because because it was like a community project, it was, you know, if, if you want something to be done, then you have to step up and do it. And around about that time, right, Yoshi was asking for help with sort of web dev and. And I had a little bit of uh, web development experience through uni, so I thought, you know, there's not many people on the Telegram here. I'll, I'll try and chip in where I can. And then one thing led to another, and the original t uh, the original Twitter account got compromised that uh, Ryoshi had, and then he, he put in the Telegram asking if 
the community could take that over and, and that's when I sort of stepped up and, and grabbed a lot of the, the sub socials that we have today. And really that's that's it in a in a condensed form. That is such a ground level story. And I I connect with that. And I think a lot of the people in here that have I, I see people like Funk and two percent that are in the speakers and a lot of people in the listeners that I know have done uh, community takeovers or uh, can you help me uh, grab a shovel and dig this ditch type of work in cryptocurrency. You run into that all the time, uh, even in, in the baby DAO, like the, the type of DAO that doesn't even know it's a DAO yet, where it's just people asking for help. Uh, and the idea that you are where you are with the account you've got and it just started so surreptitiously is is awesome uh you mentioned that this was something that ryoshi needed web development work with uh you're one of the few people here i certainly don't go back far enough to know this uh that was working with and working around ryoshi at that time and and i'm i'm second generation with everything shiba you know i'm here in the second age of shitoshi so what was it like uh being back then working with ryoshi on this stuff can you give us a little taste of that uh, i suppose it's it's, it's it's very different to, to what it is now, I suppose. You know, there was a lot less pressure back then. There was a lot less pressure to, to deliver. You know, the community was quite small. So um, the, the, the the community, sorry, the sense of community was still there. And Ryoshi, you know, obviously I like the, the vision for ship, but I think they really just wanted to see what would happen organically. You know, as everybody knows, ship was set up as, as an experiment. And, and it, it certainly lived up to that in the early days. You know, we had some interesting crazy website designs you know the logo creation and even rogue devs along the way but i think i think that you know all these experiences and all these lessons that we sort of learned helped so we out by that tours and helped to really form the community that we have today and i, I think you know although ryoshi never really said it anywhere i, th I think that they they really love the sort of chaos and energy of of the experiment really that's funny. You're giving me a perfect segue, uh, and I'm going to ask one more question, then I'm going to kind of open it up to the guys on the panel, because I, I, it is my natural tendency to hog these things, and I'm sure everybody else has got some more questions. But when you say the the natural chaos and energy, my vibe that I've always got from reading the stuff from Ryoshi and from from what I feel like Shaitoshi has always done, which is try to continue that same vibe. I, I, I personally give a lot of the vibe from Sheep still to Ryoshi uh, with the Japanese style of art and stuff. Uh, the chaos is a great part of that. What were you thinking? Because you were around at the time of the Vitalik donation and you got to participate in the idea that the donation happened to Vitalik. And probably a lot of people were thrilled about this, that it's the, they treated it as the dead wallet and stuff. And then eventually the sale of those tokens. And then the, again, the reversal of fortune in that how much it benefited India. And then the huge amount of support that Shib received eventually from the Indian uh, continent, sub-Indian continent, all the holders and stuff that benefited from that. What was, is that one of your big memories? Cause I think of that as like a, a huge segment of Shib's history. What was that like? Yeah, totally. I mean, again, there's, you know, I've been here since probably about an hour since, since the token launch. So I've, I've got a few, I've got a few memories. I think, you know, I, just thinking back at the telegram and, and thinking back about, you know, the people that were originally there and just the hopes and dreams that this project would become something. You know, so many projects don't and they fade into oblivion, but just to sit here and even be on the spaces now and, you know, we're approaching almost 4 million followers and, you know, we even overtook Doge's market cap at one point. It's, it's pretty surreal. Um, but I think I think you hit it on the head there with, with, uh, with Vitalik's donation for the, the crypto relief, I think. I think at the time it was maybe about a billion dollars and I think I think to me that that probably is, is the highlight or one of my, my favourite ship memories, I think. It really cemented the, the ship community into the history books. It really sort of validated our project and its legitimacy. It really sort of, to me, it hit home sort of the power of the ship army sort of on a global scale. You know, and at, at the time, I think there was quite a lot of fun about it and people don't get tokens and all that. But, you know, looking back now, I think I think that was a real piece of history. And I think, you know, not many projects out there can, can lay claim to that. And I think it's really testament to to the power of the ship army and, and the power of this project as a whole. So I, I think I would totally, totally agree with you on that, man. I think it really galvanized the holders from where I was sitting. It, it was something like it was either washing you out completely because you were upset or uh, you became diehard at that point. And I think that was what was so important to me to see it. Uh, Cause at the time I was on the outside looking in and it was all news to me. It was not something that happened to me emotionally or as a participant, but it is so wild looking back because it did end up being so beneficial because the adoption in that area is still epic. There's still so much trading volume and still so much activity for the ship community in those areas. And I don't think that's ever going to go away. 
right? Uh, it was a very, it like, like you said, the chaos of Ryoshi's vision. I feel like it was a chaotic good. Uh, I want to go in the same order that I kind of introduced everybody. I know everybody's dying to get at least one question in and get a chance to ask you a question, a very respectful question. <laughs> and I want to go to Buzz first because it's the canine show. And I want to go Buzz, Turtle, Meyer, and then we'll work our way through the rest of the crowd if we can. So, Buzz, you're up first. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, this is awesome because, like you said, Shane, uh, how you're a second generation uh, Shibazin, I guess you could say. I'm probably third generation. Um, and uh, I, I would just love to hear your perspective from behind the SHIB, SHIB account of like what Ryoshi would feel and, and what he would think about where SHIB has become and what SHIB has become and, and how Shibarium's going. Like, like, what do you think his thought process would be behind that? How would he feel? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I suppose I, I don't know if he'll be here and listen to it on and on and this account or whatever, but, you know, I, I can't really speak for them, but I can really just say that I think, you know, SHIB's always been a community-driven project, and and I think, you know, Ryoshi did say the initial vision and, and, and his plan, but I think really it's the community that's brought that to life. Obviously, Ryoshi left. Ryoshi left the project pretty early, not active anymore, so really it, it was down to the community to, to step up and sort of drive that forward. Um, I think most of the deliverables that the Ryoshi set out have, have pretty much been been accomplished. You know, there's still a little bit to go, but I think you know the the, the power of the ship army. You know, I mean, I, I don't think anybody would disagree that we're probably the greatest community on the internet. So, you know, I suppose in Ryoshi's vision, if he set out to create an experiment in community building, then then I don't think I don't think anybody would disagree that that we completely nailed that. And and yeah. That's great. Turtle, you're going to be up next. Yeah, I um, I actually am going to lean in the canine finance direction. I think others may have better SHIB questions. I don't want to take any anyone else's questions, so I'll hold off on that one. But what what got you here, right? What got you excited enough about what canine finance is doing uh, to make this your, you know, your entrance into the VC world? <laughs> Voice chat being what VC. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's quite a good question. I think, I think really just, just looking at well, particularly what K and N are doing. Like, you know, Ryoshi was always a big, big advocate of you know community and and if you want something, build it. And and you know, K and N are doing exactly that. You know, they're they're stepping up. They're they're putting the time there for, you know, their own money or you know whatever it may be, and into building our Shibarium, etc. So, I, I think that's partly why, to start with. Yeah, that's great. Appreciate you. Looks like I had Meyer up here and then he dropped down. He may uh, end up having a connection problem. So I'm going to rotate around. Archangel, you want to go up next? You got any questions? Uh, Archangel sent me a message. He had a call for work. So no we worries. Probably move on to the next. No worries. We can keep his account look there. It looks great uh, parked up there in the speaker spot. Looks good. <laughs> Didjark, uh, we got you up here in the speaker spot. Do you have a question for the SHIB account? Thanks for stopping by today. Oh, thanks, Shane. Thanks, boss. Uh, thanks to all the speakers. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm just excited to be here. Um, looking forward to our roundtable of dogs uh, discussion tomorrow. Um, my question is, revolves really around Shibarium. How how do you feel about Shibarium in terms of being around Ryoshi? Uh, do you feel we are getting there in achieving Ryoshi's vision. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we're still early days in Shibuya. I mean, you know, there's a long road to go, and you know, we still need to see more more things built in Shibuya. But I think, you know, given the fact that there is community projects springing up and 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 people are building on Shibuya, and um, you know, it, it's a starting block. So I mean, there's there, there's a long way to go for sure. And um, obviously, I can't speak for Ryoshi. Just just my just my personal opinions, but you know. We, we, we've got a starting block now and it's really down to the community and, and everybody else to sort of build around that and, and, and make Shibarium, you know, so, so somewhere that, that everybody wants to come and, and develop on, for sure. Thank you. Next up, I'm going or I'm going in order of Shiboshis now just because it's convenient. Maximus, you're up next. Hey, um, so um, my question was um, a little bit... Um, a little bit the same as um, as Degart, but um, I, I will change it a little bit. So I will just uh, ask this. Uh, well, considering that uh, Rayoshi um, had the, the the whole vision and Shibarium was already 
in the ideas and everything was already being defined. Um, how was it to work with Ryoshi? How was it? Um, how was how was Ryoshi as a person, as a as a leader, uh, and as a project colleague? Well, it's a, that's a very good question. I mean, I suppose back then, you know, it was. I mean, it's it's kind of hard to explain. Ryoshi was he was always present in the telegram, and he, he loved his WWE means. I mean, I, I don't know if it's a he, so apologies, but you know, they they loved their WD, WWE memes and. And you know they they were they, right from the start. Like you, you could tell they had a sort of aura about them. I mean, I don't know if it was like the anonymous name or you know nobody really knew who they were. And you know there was rumors going about who it was was a Vitalik. You know nobody really knew. And you know in the end of them. And I mean, I hope they don't make me share them. But I, I remember that they they said they had close connections to Charlie Lee. So at the time, I sort of knew that you know this person was wasn't just some. Um, some random person it's just great they're talking this sort of person knew knew what they were doing and and it sort of made sense with the, the with the plan and everything they laid out but yeah they, they definitely had some sort of aura about them and and i think that's really reflected and even today you know everybody still speaks about them fondly and and you know whatever they're doing whatever they are you know i, I hope that they're I hope they're doing well and you know I, I probably speak on behalf of the community you know i, I extend the gratitude to them for for kicking this thing off and, and putting the vision out there and and just seeing what seeing seeing what happens, and I hope they're they're sitting out there somewhere on a beach with a mojito or something, and and, and enjoying seeing 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 what's happened. So, yeah, that's a beautiful sentiment, and I I love the idea that one of the things that will come out of this chat is uh, ship token account wishes Ryoshi uh, happy beach sitting or whatever comes out <laughs> of that. that but no, because I think I think a lot of people would right because if he, if he's not here, it inspired a lot of people. And I love that you guys are asking. That's a few people now that have asked, like, what was it like to be around this guy? What or this person? What was it like to work with this person? There's just something about being in the room with people that have got that spark. You know what I mean? Like, there are some people that are alive, and then there are some people that are like really alive. And you're like, damn! Like, you you get in the room. I imagine it's what like Dwayne Johnson smells like. Like, I assume that he's got that zing. You know what I mean? There's just something there. <laughs> that, that most electrifying man in the ring energy. Uh, and since Ryoshi loves wrestling, I chose that specifically uh, to go that direction. Shout out, Ryoshi, if you're listening. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm going to go, uh, I want to get Maz and, and Funk, but 2% threw the hand up. I saw you throw that hand up, 2%. What, I get you with a wrestling reference? Is that it? Go ahead. Yeah, one question. I, you brought it up. Uh, it's around the, along those lines. So for the SHIB account, you know, I mean, SHIB obviously is a, is a top 10 token. I mean, there's a story to be told there. You guys have had a lot of success. From your experience, like, do you have any good stories or anything around, like, what was the defining moment or what was something that you were like, oh, wow, like, this really put us to the next level? That's a good question. I suppose there's probably been a lot of small things uh, along the way, I think. I think really – when Elon tweeted about Doge, I think I think that was the point where, you know, a, a lot of people started to take notice of Ship, um, rightly or wrongly. But that's all what what really kicked it off. I think, I think also the the Vitalik uh, donation to COVID, and I think really just having having a secure having a secure channel, having a secure account, having the main the main account, which has been which has been secure and, and not being compromised, and all the rest of it is has really enabled a, a solid foundation. Um, I think, I think you know the Shib Army have, have a massive part to play in, in in where we are today. I mean, obviously, you know, not everyone's a developer, not everyone's a web developer, etc. But you know, the community still play a ma absolute massive part in in spreading the word about ships, you know, spreading it to new investors, spreading it to everybody else, and you know, and letting everybody else know that you know we're, we're not going to go away. And and you know, we have evolved from from a mean token to a serious player, and and in, in, in different fields, and you know, we're here to stay and. You know, right, like you said, you know, we're our top ten token now, so it's 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 pretty crazy. So I'm gonna go to Maz next, and then Funk, and then I saved myself one good greedy question, uh, and then we'll head towards the wrap up because, as you guys know, we do a, a swift hard hour here. We want to get the ship token out the door. They've got stuff to do, and you all should have stuff to do by now. Uh, anyway, it's been an hour. We're all sitting here in the middle of the day, uh, and the best part is, is this doesn't mean this is the only time we're ever gonna talk to them. It just means you have to come back the next time we get together. So don't be mad when we cut off early. Maz, up here with the ship token. I know you're excited. You got a question? <laughs> uh, well, actually, no. It's not as much a question, but just. Um, I mean, after three years, I, I, I guess I 
got to be pointed out that uh, you really took the, the role to heart uh, from, from the message uh, that, that was uh, sent out by Ryo. She um, put up the account and uh, three years later, uh, he, if you're still posting, uh, I can see like the, the pin message, uh, the tutorial for Shibarian uh, usage, like just helping out uh, Shib Army members. I guess it's just a salute. That, that's that's all I want to do. Dude, Maz is the most respectful guy in the game. Shib, you've heard Maz speak before. I'm sure you've been somewhere and heard him before, right? That silky smooth voice. Yeah, Thank so you, man. I, I was just gonna say, yeah, thanks, man. I think, I think, yeah, that it's 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 kind of a it's kind of a weird one because ultimately I'm just a community member that was here early and and you know was able to to secure the to secure the accounts and whatever. And it's it's pretty tricky sort of posting from an account, you know, with, with near enough four million followers or something. You know, I don't have a a background in marketing, etc. So. I, I think I think uh, I, I get the most fun out of the account when I just try and not think about it and I just sort of just go with my instincts and just try and have a laugh and, and have a joke in the community and I think I think that's the most powerful thing and I think that it resonates with the community for sure. Yeah. Definitely, that's that, that's definitely a, a big part of the the Ship Army vibe. Um, I, I I mean just you know uh, just having fun a bit, yeah. Uh, but yep, yeah, definitely. Um, uh, major props uh, for for these uh, tutorials and these warnings and everything, uh, just helping out the the community like that. It's it's great. Still three years going. <laughs> yeah. It was a lot longer than three years, <laughs> but no, I totally mind. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pleasure. Thank you for coming by, Maz. You know, I can't get enough when you stop by Spaces. Appreciate you for coming in. Funk, uh, we're talking to a, a Spaces OG over here. These guys have been doing this account for three years. I know you're going to have some questions because Funk uh, has some experience running uh, X accounts similar. Uh, so what do you got, Funk? Hey, my question isn't around X as much, but I really appreciate you coming on here. And I don't want to put you on the spot with this question. So if you just want to say no comment, you can say no comment. But I got into Shiba Inu. I invested in February 2021, um, long before Elon tweeted. And I kind of held for a month or two before that first Elon tweet kind of happened. Um, and so my lore is pretty strong up until that point. But <clears throat> there seems to be some missing lore from Shiba Inu. About the, the the who launched the token, when the token launched originally, and uh, was it a community takeover where Ryoshi and Shaitoshi kind of took over? Is there any information or insight you can give? And if you can't, just say no comment. Um, well, it, it was Ryoshi that, that launched it back in the day. Um, I, you know, it wasn't really a community takeover at all. I mean, I think I think Ryoshi was in, in the Telegram active and. And he launched it and he had, he had the vision and he had the set plan, but I think really he put it down to everybody in the Telegram at the time, you know, if, if you want to get there then, because originally Ryoshi had the website, um, his friend was hosting it and then he, he, his friend was going to pull it down and I think I think Ryoshi really just wanted the community to step up and, and create something, um, even uh, just I suppose shout out to Paradox, I seen, I seen he was listening and in the telegram, Ryoshi was asking for a new logo and stuff. Um, so it, it wasn't really a community takeover. Ryoshi was definitely there asking for help to to build the project and, and, and to, to take it forward. And, and yeah, I mean, I suppose it, the, the dates and times when it launched, I, I don't know off the top of my head, but it, it certainly wasn't a community takeover. I mean, I suppose I suppose m m maybe, maybe that happened organically after Ryoshi decided to sort of take a step back and then, you know, anybody who was really willing to grab the bull by the horn sort of did so and, and then that's where we see sort of Shai and Cal and, and everybody else that's, that's sort of developing and doing stuff today sort of came from. Right, I laid out the vision and um, well left it to the SHIB Army and SHIB Army members just like Shaitoshi rose up and started building the vision. Now um, Shaitoshi is Pretty much the architect um, of the uh, Ryoshi vision, and has brought uh, Shibaswap, uh, Shibarium, uh, well, just 
backbone of the uh, vision to life and just keeps delivering. Uh, we've got Shiba Swap, Shiba Tyranny, the Shiba Hub, the Shib Magazine, Shib the Metaverse, Welly, along with innovations that bring new use on chain like Shib Identity or, um, you know, that, that's the Shib stake on self serving identity as well as copyright on chain, maybe in the future with CDSA, right? Um, Shib is stepping up in all sectors as per the vision. And not only just to go with your metaphor, Maz, because I'll build on it because it was so beautiful. If Ryoshi had the vision as the designer and Shaitoshi is the architect, which is the person who takes the designer and shackles him to physics and the laws of what is uh, capable and what can be done, then you have your engineers coming next. And those are the people like Buzz, the people like Turtle, the people that are building dApps, the people that are building Shibarium. There's a process for putting a skyscraper up and it starts with a designer, then it goes to the architect, then it goes to the engineers, then it goes to the construction construction crew and before you guys can fill up the building there's a lot of stuff that goes on so sh shout out to the to the designers the dreamers the architects who are who are even crazier and then the engineers too because it's going to take a, a hell of a lot of engineers to fill up all that space man Masriel, you get the metaphor now oh definitely yeah appreciate you man for filling that in and funk that's a great question there is so much lore dude and we could do like a whole lore spaces that would be a great one to dive into like sit oh, down and go through that. the book i would love that invite uh, me to that one <laughs> paradox paradox came up i heard ship mention paradox and i didn't want to leave them down there because i got a free spot in the speakers paradox what's up hey what's up thanks uh for putting me up here uh yeah uh, uh just to kind of cover everything you know from what i heard then uh, everything is you know uh, you know, I've, you know, really, most has been said here with uh, you know the origins, and I couldn't say anything more, you know, unless but uh, you know, tidbits. Like I remember, he was like, he was hard with a hammer, with banning and kicking people if they're like, <clears throat> of course, you know, if if it was just straight foot, you know, but but then there was like questions, and you know, and he was, you know, he saw the bullshit, you know, he was. You know he was different i'm sure and uh, <laughs> funny. um and uh, and today how it is i think it's just totally it was started as an experiment and now it's a it, it became a it became just a thing on its own you know and uh, i mean he just kind of you know set it free off to the wild you know and i gotta say with you know how it is today it really looks really good and really dresses well and is up to par and really just has a has accumulated a lot of smart and hardworking people in the space and really i think really it, the best the hardest working people here are the in the ship space i'm sure are the people that are right here i'm pretty much sure about that I, I would and, never uh, argue with you. That's a great sentiment. I wouldn't argue with you at all. Paradox has been around for a while, it sounds like. Dude, the idea that you just told me that Ryoshi had a, a heavy, fast band hammer is going to go over so well in so many of the communities that are listening right now. <laughs> you made me laugh. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, it's it, it's a fun little thing to remember by uh, him by. And also how he was also light on the, you know, he had fun with the gifts and the memes and the, you know, and all the good stuff. And, you know, he had everything that a good founders has really and, and that's you know that was a lot of you know that wasn't all you know and then you know you know i don't need, i don't know i don't, I don't i'm not gonna go over why we all went into see but that's a whole another thing but uh <laughs> uh yeah and today like with the magazine and everything and and uh, all the uh i could say offsprings and the whole dog thing you know it's it's never gonna die and how it you know it's and everything everything is kind of just everything like the whole fucking like fucking movies uh, uh, like it's yeah. all everything that is not connected to war is just totally just every, uh, down and uh, well you know everything is like consolidated and and so everyone one day every we need to we need to do an og space for shib because i know when when this account gets up in the speaker spot it's going to pull people like paradox out and they're going to want to have these reminiscent conversations and this would be so healthy for the ecosystem uh for people like this to come out that have these stories and like pour a glass or have a beer and just kick the shit you guys like this is legitimately why having this account up here is legitimate and this is the part where i get to be the spaces host where i'm kind of a jerk we are coming up on a point where i got to be time cognizant here uh so paradox i do appreciate you coming up and shib why don't you respond to him and then i'm going to take my greedy question before we start to wrap up <laughs> yeah paradox hit on the head man but i also didn't enjoy the band hammer it was, it was kind of funny it did take my shit to be honest but um 
No, yeah, yeah I think Paradox and um, and Red Riders, whoever they are, is, you know, they yeah. were a great leader, and uh, you know, they, 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 they sort of, they, they sort of set the path and just really just just let us do our own thing and, and let us build, and, and you know, yeah, for that, really, so everybody will be really grateful. You got a hundred percent with the, with all that, and how it just uh, how and how it is still today uh, that individuals can always just go and find a rope and take it by the yeah. rope you know exactly. and lasso it and do something and and but uh uh yeah and uh, but uh yeah you went over and yeah dude like i don't know but like with uh like i i had <laughs> I got, like i got the... your paradox i got your paradox yeah I'm, I'm gonna jump into one more question with him dude i'm not trying to be rude and cut you off but uh i got that time yeah, limit i want to give everybody it's... a chance to say goodbye thank you for stopping by dude and the fact that another og rode up to a canine finance space is not lost on me dude there we're collecting them like uh infinity stones buzz they're gonna be here uh keep watching uh shib this is my greedy question this is me pulse digital and not canine fan uh, finance okay so i'm a spaces host that's what i do and i, I do a lot of account management work where you're describing like the gravity of logging into an account with nearly 4 million people. And that when you go in there, uh, you try and just write from a place of fun. Like you are speaking my language because, uh, what you're doing is kind of no different than what me and a lot of the people in the audience have done. I see so many people in the audience that are managing brand accounts, uh, whether they're Shibarian projects or otherwise, these guys have like two or three X accounts that they have to log into. So, um, what sort of responsibility do you feel as the account holder that does this, because it is simultaneously like a big deal, but you're also not really bound to not be chaotic and you still maintain a very professional tone. You clearly have like a message. You, you, you always wrap up your posts with the, you know, this is the last post in the thread. Be careful of scams. You're not doing anything by accident. I see the work. What's that feel like to you? What kind of responsibility do you really feel? It's a very good question, man. I suppose it's, it's something that I try to really not think about. It's one of these things that, you know, you know, as I said, I, I don't have a marketing background. I'm just a normal everyday guy that was just early. And, and uh, you know, sometimes I punch myself and I, I think, geez, you know, I need to be careful what I'm saying here. But, I, I, you know, it is, it, is a, it is a privilege to actually, you know, have the account. And, you know, I, I don't just, own, you know, control the main one. I, I control most of our affiliates. I own the, the main Telegram and the old Discord. So most of SHIB's social presence is sort of under, under my control. And, it's kind of like that. I come from a cybersecurity background, so I think, you know, the amount of scams and all that out there, I'm always present and present to have present in mind to, to make sure the community are always, you know, watching out for that and airdrop scams and all the rest of it because, you know, it does hurt when we see, you know, get DMs and somebody's lost, you know, funds to a scammer and whatever. So, but no, it's, it's a complete privilege that to have the main account. And I think I was listening to a Joe Rogan podcast one time and he said that he posts in ghosts. And I think, you know, when I heard that, it really sort of resonated with me. And I think it's very easy to post something and look at the comments and, and get weighed down by that. It's sort of a personal attack, you know, when I'm really just sort of a messenger for, for whatever's going on. And it, it can be quite difficult sometimes. So that, that posting goes and just sort of let that post sit there and and maybe check it, check it later on, but just not to kind of get bogged down by that. But I think... I suppose a, a final point and that is, you know, behind the scenes, you know, the responsibility of, of the main account is, is very much real as are the consequences, you know, if something should happen. And, you know, I do take that very seriously and, and right also sort of trusted me with that. And and, and it's something that I'm proud of that, that I'm able to do. And it's sort of my own way of contributing to the community. Of course, I'm not a, I'm not a developer, I'm not a blockchain dev or whatever. So it's it's my own little piece of, of the community that, that I can do and I can contribute and, and hopefully I do a good job. I mean, again, it's it's one of these things. That it's, it's a learning experience for me. You know, I'm just a community member, but you know, I'm I'm growing with everybody else, and and I, you know, I always have the best interest of this project at heart. Um, you know, I'll never sell out and compromise the account or whatever. So, it, it's only the backbones there for for the ecosystem with with the main account and, and our other accounts. Then it's down to everybody else to build and and fulfill Ryoshi's vision. That's an audio clip right there, folks. That's what you're coming here for. That was so good to hear that answer. And I love that as a creator. Everybody that's listening, 2%, I'm staring straight at your profile picture. Post, then ghost. That came straight from the guy who's running the SHIB account, who's got 4 million followers. Some Dude, shit posting is my love language. 
I'm sorry. I can't. I it's just what I do. And and when I run these other accounts, I tell you guys, if you if you knew what went through my mind when I decided to post, I couldn't quantify how I run these accounts, but it. it broadens my perspective to think that you're doing the same thing dude i appreciate your answers and i appreciate you letting us get a glimpse at, at your process because i know that's that's a weird question uh with the time that we have today what i want to do because i literally have like three minutes before i got to close it out i got a client walking in the door uh is i'm gonna let buzz have final thoughts today because we didn't get to do buzz's corner but i know the dude is electric over there that's another buzz joke about how good this has gone today because you guys this was a banger spaces i'm so excited this is going to be quoted in places you guys these screenshots matter get them now before we go everybody hit a rack of emojis so these people can grab their screenshots for me by the way uh, because as buzz is doing his closing you guys hit those emojis grab your screenshots and we're going to figure out a way to get back together i'm going to throw this out there because i'm a greedy a-hole uh, but i want to try and figure out a way to get bad idea a uh, ship spaces i want to make sure that you come back to canine spaces i want you to be comfortable in the places where at least i know i am hosting and that we can provide as a team as a unit this cohesive environment of people who are going to be sh that's all my goal is my rule is always having fun is number one so buzz final thoughts on this banger spaces for canine finance today week 16 what do you think yeah just very humbled to uh to sit back and listen to this one like i know it's a canine dow weekly spaces but uh like hearing these given that myself i just got into shib and shibarium last summer at, at ETH toronto hearing about uh shibarium launching and just very humbled to hear these stories and and uh be a member the value hopefully a valuable member of the broader SHIB community and, and hearing about what Ryoshi was like as a leader and, and how we can all sort of grab a lasso, like Paradox was saying, and and try to fulfill this vision and carry that torch. And um, just humbled to be able to host this conversation and have everyone here and and uh, get a little bit of goosebumps to uh, get excited about what's to come with SHIB and Shibarium. Well, Buzz, I want to say from all of us, Buzz, we are proud of you as a community for building on SHIB, for doing the same thing. As I just pointed out, you are fulfilling the same vision that you're lauding other people for doing. So kudos to you, and I'm not just kissing ass. Maz, go ahead real quick. Oh, yeah, definitely valuable, Buzz. Now, we, we got third generation SHIBisms already. I, I, I had no idea about that. <laughs> Does that make you feel old? Are you? Is your blue hair turning gray now in that profile picture, bro? Do we need to do a Photoshop? And put, we need a gray streak Maz's profile picture, you guys. I'm ascending above Super Saiyan God right now. It's crazy. <laughs> Uh, that's what enlightenment feels like, man. When you finally reach that plane of just existence, that's where you're going to be. <laughs> all right, guys, we're going to shut it down. Banger spaces. And I want to say on behalf of all of the canine finance community, all of the members in the telegram, and particularly all of the admins and moderators that bust their hump all day to keep those places lively and stuff. We appreciate you. We also appreciate those moderators. Shout out to Crimson Creator, uh, Blind uh, Radar, and all the team. I can't possibly name all of them. Uh, but you guys that are going to be listening back, thank you so much for doing this because I know I'm here on X and you're on telegram. Uh, but we're all family. We're all friends. Thank you to the SHIB token account for letting me do this. I'm so excited. As a Spaces host who's been doing this for so long, your trust in me is appreciated, bro. We're going to take this legendary levels together. Uh, we're going to have some great conversations with great people from all across X. I can't wait to do it again. Thanks to Buzz and all of the other team members at Canine Finance that represent the collective that gave me the keys to this account. It's still difficult to explain why it happened, but I'm still driving, baby. And until we hit a tree, we're going to keep doing it. So let's meet back next here next Thursday for number seven. K9 Finance Weekly Dial Spaces. We'll be here again, baby. I appreciate you. If you were a listener, if you were a speaker, come back next time, and I will see you then. Have a great day.